Last week, we talked about bias and variance, and specifically the problems that are caused by high bias and high variance, which is overfitting and underfitting. But how do we deal with overfitting once it happens? So in this video, we will talk about that and some of the specific techniques that are used in dealing with overfitting. A common technique to use when your model has overfit is regularization. It sounds like this very complex and hard to understand topic, at least it did to me when I was first learning machine learning, but it actually is not even that complicated. So regularization basically means limiting the flexibility of your model to a certain extent. So you might remember this keyword from last week when we were talking about bias and variance, right? So what we said is when a model has high flexibility, it tends to overfit. It tends to have high variance and high variance causes overfitting. So it's only logical. If you limit the flexibility of your model, then you will be dealing with high variance, also overfitting. Okay, that's a nice little parallelism there that we have with the flexibility, but what does it actually mean to limit the flexibility of your model? So let's look at this example neural networks. It's a network. It's a small network. We only have one hidden layer with two neurons, right? But what I want you to see here is the parameters. The parameters that we have here would be the weights of the network and also the biases of the neurons probably, but let's talk about the weights only. So what happens is with regularization, we will be limiting the value that our weights can take. Our weights cannot be higher than a certain value. We will always be bringing it back to a certain level. And that way we will be dealing with overfitting. So one thing that I didn't understand when I first read this description is, what does high weights have anything to do with overfitting? Think of a model that has overfit. It will probably look like this, right? This is the input versus the output. Let's say, of course, our models and problems have, are a lot more complicated. We have a lot more features. But let's think of a model where we have one input feature and the output. So when a model has overfit, we're going to see something like this, given the red line is our model, the pattern that our modern model, model has learned. What that means is that this model is exaggerating the importance this input, this certain input feature has on the output. That's why it thinks whenever the input has moved a little bit, it has to follow it really closely. Well, what is a weight when you think about it in a neural network? A weight is the importance that our model assigns to a certain input feature, isn't it? So you can see that when a weight is higher, it means that our model is exaggerating that certain input's importance when it comes to calculating the output. So that's why higher weights actually means overfitting because you're exaggerating the importance of a certain input feature. And that's why when you deal with those really high weights, when you lower them or keep them to a certain threshold, you will be dealing with overfitting at the end. When I first learned this, I thought it was very neat. There is a really nice and elegant relationship between those two things. And I think it's very nice that we have some techniques to deal with that. So some of the regularization techniques, some of the most common ones are called L1 and L2 regularization. We also have dropout regularization though. These are all basically different approaches to uh, regularization. In my course, I will go into details of how each of these work and also how we can implement them using Python and Keras in a notebook or anywhere where we want to implement a neural network. Uh, but for now, I think it's important for you to know that we have L1, L2, and dropout regularization that are used the most common. One other one that people use is early stopping. That one basically means do you do not let your model train all the way until the end and stop it before it converges completely, so you stop it from overfitting. Um, I don't think it's uh, completely preferable um, because of something Andrew and G actually said in his course, which I completely agree, because when you do early stopping, you interrupt the model from training. Whereas he says what regularization should be, what dealing with overfitting should be, is letting the model train, but adding an extra layer on top of the model or an extra precaution to stop it from overfitting. When you do early stopping, you are meddling with the training process, which uh, is not very healthy. He prefers to keep those two processes separate, which I think is also a good idea. 
So just to recap this short video, we saw that high variance causes overfitting and one very commonly used uh, approach to dealing with overfitting is regularization. And we have the common regularization techniques L1, L2 or dropout regularization. And we know that regularization is a way to limit the flexibility of our model. It does that by limiting certain parameters and high parameters mean overfitting because high parameters or high weights are the amount of value that we put to the data points that we have in our model or the input features that we have in our model. And we don't want to exaggerate any input features importance. We want to our model to be able to generalize well. So if you got all of this, I'm sure you have a good understanding of what regularization is at this moment. If you have any questions, don't forget to uh, mention them in the comments section below. Uh, if you are interested in mer learning more about deep learning, these specific techniques, how they work, how they are implemented in actual code and when to decide whether you actually need regularization or not, go check out my course. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, you can sign up to hear from the updates of the course or even sign up to the course if it's already launched. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and have a nice day.